YouTube, welcome to my channel. This is the artist and founder of Touch by Faith. Um, I'm just here today to share a little bit with you guys about my resin art. Um, I am a newly found resin artist, but I've been excited because there's so many different options and opportunities for me these creations and I think that encompasses and encapsulates my brand perfectly. Touch by Faith Art, we're universal creations. Um, but let's go ahead and get this video started. So jumping right in, I'm showing you guys an unmolding of um, this Bob Marley ashtray, excuse me, Bob Marley rolling tray, which I had so much fun making and following up here in the clip you'll see me um, kind of digging into that process. I just wanted to jump on YouTube and kind of get started with creating a community because it was actually so much fun making this video. Um, I enjoy being able to see myself create the work as well as share the process with you guys. So this is awesome. Um, you'll get to see my mistakes. You'll get to see how I'm growing to be better every day, which is awesome. So I'm really excited for this. Uh, just to start, once again, I have a Bob Marley rolling tray back there. I'm gonna do one more layer of resin on top. And then that's a little ashtray that I made. Um, that blue one back there. Um, and then here, my favorite, my favorite. I made some eyelash trays. So these are perfect if you're like me, you're always going out, but once you get home, you stretch those eyelashes off and then where did they go? Exactly. Or they're, you know what I'm saying? They're old and crusty by the time you wake up in the morning. Nobody want to wear those. So now, boom, eyelash trays. These are perfect because strip lashes are just like, they're so fun to buy, they're so fun to switch up, and now you can have them in a beautiful display. You can have them looking cute, even off the face. It's perfect, it's perfect. And I just got tired of losing freaking eyelash cases or never putting them away. So now I have a cute, 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 easily accessible product to hold my eyelashes, and I love it. I'm just go ahead and say it's my phone. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to let you guys kind of watch this demolding and then I'm going to jump back in. I will do a little video with some more get to know me stuff. I just wanted to post this first video as an intro just to play around with the skill of making videos, of sharing what I'm learning. Um, so you guys stay tuned. Now, this one here, bomb, baby, bomb. The theme is Vikings, Minnesota Vikings. I'm working on a rolling tray and an ashtray. And I'm super excited to see how this one is going to finish out. Um, as you can see, that marble effect in there, bomb. <laughs> but that was just so fun. Um, I did that one in a couple layers just to play with the technique of marbling to see how I wanted it to turn out. Plus I was running out of resin, so win-win. Sometimes your mistakes are not always mistakes. Sometimes they're the best accidents. But there it is. And sorry y'all, y'all will see my dogs in the background as well as my boyfriend. That's just my life that I'm living. <laughs> but yes um, and excuse my messy workspace as well but also appreciate it because you know that I'm a real artist I can't always keep the place together even though I'm a keep clean freak <laughs> when I make a mess I make a mess now here is another tray that I did and um, if you see that kind of sand texture or rock texture up there I was experimenting with using Epsom salt in my design, so I did that on this tray, as well as the ashtray in the background. And I found that off of YouTube. Um, 
just doing some research on resin art and the materials that you could use. All right, and here we are jumping back in. My video did a little weird thing here. So right now what I'm showing you guys is me prepping my Bob Marley mold. Um, this was an experiment to see how these pigments would transfer over to the tray. And as you guys could see in the beginning, it was pretty beautiful. It wasn't as dark as I had pictured it being, but I think with maybe like multiple layers of this eyeshadow, I think it would work better. Or maybe a pigment enhancer. In the beginning, you see me spraying some rubbing alcohol over it. I figured that would make the pigment pop out more as well as keeping it from sticking to the mold, which it did it, and I'm so happy. Uh, moving on, this is kind of just showing, you know what I'm saying, me packing it on, me making sure that I'm keeping it from clumping. Um, also, I was kind of playing with keeping the color inside the picture or kind of taking it out and seeing how that would look. Um, but what you guys will see at the end is I clean it up anyway. So it doesn't matter if you get outside the lines a little. Just keep on enjoying the process. Um, right now I'm just coloring in his hair with some black. I use a little bit of brown for the skin. And then I use gold to color the letters. So I'm just going to let you guys kind of watch this process. Feel free to fast forward. Um, but it is kind of satisfying to watch too. <laughs> but yeah, um, here is the beginning of the Bob Marley trip.
all right and once again guys i'm just taking that rubbing alcohol cleaning up those few spots that i was like okay that's kind of messy but at the end of the day it worked out perfectly fine so if you do use a mold like that don't be too pressured depending on the color resin you're using um about getting color on the outside of the picture now moving forward um as you guys seen in the beginning there was that beautiful glitter flower that i was able to press into the resin and right here you're gonna kind of see me doing that process i'm just taking a little bit of tacky glue um you can use what you choose this is what i had and this is what i figured would work best it's just clear um, just rubbing it over there and then i'm gonna place the stencil on top this is my first time trying it out with the stencil so what i did is i made the i filled the mold on the bottom and then taking that glue putting the stencil over so that i can as you're about to see cover it with my glitter sorry for the pause because i should have my materials right next to me <laughs> So I'm just gonna take one of my little silicone tools, fill it up with some glitter. And with this, um, just use your, just use your instinct on how much glitter to put. I didn't wanna do too much so that in case I spilled any, I don't have to clean up too much extra. You can spread it around, it works good. Um, I think that when I try this skill again, I'm gonna leave the stencil on there a little bit longer just to make the line super, super crispy and clean, but it still did not turn out bad always use paper under your glitter it saves you a cleanup and mind y'all um that makeup palette in the back is strictly for business use now <laughs> but here i am taking just a little bit of tape um to get some of that extra glitter that's on the outside from on there i wanted this to be a really clean clean design um and again like i said next time i'll plan to leave the stencil on longer so that it will be as such got my q-tips with some alcohol on there just to keep it from getting sticky now right here, I am moving on to the next eyelash case I made. I did another, I did another topping of resin over that glitter just to keep it in. And pause. All right, I wanted to double back on this one. Um, it did go kind of fast because I sped up the video, so. Just to reiterate, I'm dropping some cracked glass across the mold before I add in my resin. From there, I'm gonna take my alcohol ink and just drop a few splatters. I'm making a kind of marble effect, watercolor effect in a way. Um, and then I added some gold leaf into my resin as well and it turned out like so, so beautiful so 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 beautiful and i was absolutely in love with these but stay tuned you guys i'm so happy for you guys to see more of touched by faith thank you